What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a solid master tier team that features a bunch of meta Pokemon like Calyrex and Zacian, but it has one cool off meta Pokemon. We are rocking out with Kingler today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and ring those notification bells so you know when my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Carter. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to send me rental codes, like I've been saying, tweet at me or DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below to my Twitter page and it's Gene YouTube over on Twitter if you just want to search it. But don't really send me Series 12 teams because Series 12 is about to end. Start sending me some Series 13 teams. I'd love to get my hands on them and showcase them in some videos. But let's get started here in that top left corner with calyrex he has the as one ability alongside with the focus dash as item and the focus dash is just the best item for calyrex in my opinion you get the most value out of your calyrex with focus dash so i just absolutely love this item on this pokemon as astro barrage expanding force for two heavy hitting stab moves then it has protect and willibus to burn physical attackers second pokemon on squad is going to be whimsicott over here whimsicott got some prankster ability obviously because you know that is its best ability and then it's got the eject button as its item it's rocket tailwind for speed control Helping hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. It's got Taunt and then Moonblast for its final move. Middle left is going to be Zacian. That's all I have to say. The strongest Pokemon in the game with the strongest move set that it has. There it is. If you guys want to check it out, you guys can look for yourselves. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be the normal Thunderous setup. And this one actually, I think our guy made a mistake here. It's got Prankster instead of Defiant. It, it has no moves to actually use Prankster, so... I think I, I think I think the team creator might have messed up, but we're still gonna rock with it. It's got the assault vest, thunder punch, fly, brick break, and crunch. So we just gotta remember that this one does not have the defiant, but its ability should definitely be defiant. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Kingler over here. Kingler is an awesome Pokemon, and I feel like it hits very, very hard. It has Hyper Cutter as its ability, so its stats cannot be dropped to intimidates. And it's got the Lumberry as item, rocking crab hammer for stab, brick break for coverage, high horsepower for coverage, and then wide guard to protect ally Pokemon and himself from double hitting moves. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Mel and Didi over here with Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds, Expanding Force, Helping Hand, Protect, and Trick Room. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, look to get some wins with this Kingler Meta Master to your team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty strong team. He has Comfy and Yvelta combo, so we can obviously prop weakness policy with that. He has the Xerneas, who can pop Geomance with the Power Herb, and then have a Pokemon like Amoongus protected at all times. Then he also has Decorate Alcreme and Faramosa on his team. I don't know what to do. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, I could follow me a shot. Actually, what's called this go out before following me? Like the comfy combo. So who should I roll into? Zassian's not too bad because we have speed up against it. So I have to leave Zassian just in case he wants to go into, uh, say, the Xerneas or the Yveltal. And then I need something to kind of counter up onto that Amoongus. I could taunt the Amoongus. I could taunt the Amoongus. Is that our best bet here? Would be to taunt the Amoongus? I don't really know. Kind of hurts. I could Tailwind and then taunt the next turn. But it's tough. It's real tough. Or I could taunt and Tailwind. Kind of sounds good. I feel like Zacian and Wimscott is definitely our best bet on the lead. So I'm going to go to them too. I'm going to go Calyrex on the next slot. And then I think I'm just going uh, a little bit of Kingler action. A little bit of Kingler action could be pretty good. I like Kingler. He's an awesome Pokemon. And he has a G-Max form. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, guys. You guys got to let me know for question of the day. We got another good one for you guys. What are your thoughts on the brand new move Shed Tail? It was just showcased with the brand new Pokemon. What was it? Psych Lizard? Cyclizer, it's like the it looks like the pre-evolution of Maridon and Crydon, and it's basically a substitute that swaps you out. So you swap in a substitute for your ally Pokemon. So it's a really cool move. I do like it, and I think it's gonna be very strong. But you guys definitely gotta let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he's gonna end up leading these two, and I think we just taunt the Moongus, right? So we can't support us, so and we kind of get after after that way, right? And I kind of just want to play rough right into there. I don't really think he's gonna Rage Powder. I think he's gonna try to put me to sleep. So I'm just going to taunt the Moogus to kind of get after it that way. Right? I don't think he's, uh... I don't really think he's... He's Rage Pattern. Like, what would you Rage Pattern a Faramosa for? I feel like Faramosa is kind of just there to speed swap. That's the only that's the only value I ever got out of a Faramosa. So, cool. We get off a taunt. That is beautiful. Hopefully, it's not mental hurt, but I doubt it is, right? 
It's not beautiful. And he's going to speed swap. He's going for the speed swap spore. So awesome. I like that turn all day. You cannot spore. That is a cool combo, but we had taunt on the board. The taunt worked very well. Playoffs can come out here. That's going to do that much damage. And we're looking pretty solid here in battle number one. Battle number one's looking real good for us. And from here, you know, I'm just going to behemoth blade you. And then just roll into a moon blast if I can. I could set up a tailwind, but... Actually, I probably should have because he's going to jack button me, right? That would hurt so I should have set up a tailwind. Pheromos is fast. Well, not Pheromos anymore. Moongus is fast. Man. We got to get rid of this Pokemon. <laughs> but at least I have my uh, I have my boy Zassian popping out here doing some damage on them. So Pompuff can come out here going after my Wim Scott. I knew I should have set up a tailwind. But that's fine. We have tailwind in the back end now. Pheromos is rather slow. And we kind of go from there. Okay, cool. So from there, I could bring out Calyrex. I'm kind of leaning towards Kingler, just a Dynamax at this point. It's looking really good. But I don't really have the Dynamax. I could just bring a Calyrex instead of Dynamax. Probably my best bet, right? Do that. Who do I go into here? I'm going to save my Calyrex. I'm going to go Kingler here. Let's have some fun here. Let's have some fun. This might actually be my last Series 12 video. I'm going to start recording Series 13 very, very soon. Like I said, I want to bring you guys some teams before... Uh, Series 13 actually comes out. So this might be my last Series 12 video. So just for that, leave a like on today's video. Behemoth Blade flies through here. We pick up some big damage. Um, and Taunt's gonna come out here. That's fine. We have King right out here on the field now. Stupid Taunt. That was a dumb Taunt. That was a dumb Taunt. Okay, so from here, uh... I think we just Behemoth Blade you down. And then King Lord can just go into, I guess, a Brick Break. Could Crab Hammer, but... Has a 90% accuracy, and I really don't want to go into it now. With a Pokemon on one HP. So I'm just going to Brick Break into Faramosa. He's going to Palm Puff. Go into Zashin, please. Leave my Kingler alone. Wow. Actually, we might not even Dynamax Kingler now. We might not even Dynamax Kingler. We might not, not even Dynamax Kingler this turn. But that took a lot of damage, that Palm Puff. It really did. So I don't think we're going to Dynamax Kingler. Well, it depends who he brings out here. But Brick Break's going to fly here. We pick up the double kill. We still have every single Pokemon. We have the Calyrex in the back end. Which I'm kind of leaning towards Dynamax now. Because it is at full HP with the Kazash still. But what other Pokemon is he going to bring in here? Yveltal? He might, he might actually go into Yveltal. We do have Play Rough for that. Xerneas comes out here. And Yveltal? Who do we go after? Who do we go after is the real question. One of them is going to protect. <laughs> I need my Zacian for this. One of them is going to protect here. I really just want to Behemoth play this thing now. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna crab hammer the slot. Maybe I, I think I should have played up. I think Xerneas is gonna protect. It's so tough because he has two Pokemon. And I'd rather I think we're fine if I think we're fine with that uh with the what's it called? With the Yveltal staying alive, but Xerneas setting up a Geomance could really do his 30. So who's he gonna dynamic here? It's gonna be Yveltal. Please do not protect that Pokemon. Please do not protect Xerneas. Please do not protect Xerneas. Please. Whatever you do, do not protect Xerneas. What's he gonna do? He's not protect Xerneas. So good call from us. That should take him out unless he's been smashed. But yeah, I knew I had to get rid of this Pokemon. I really wanted it gone. Thank God he didn't protect it and we just dump on it like that. So beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. He's probably going after my Zacian with like a Dark Aurora, but I think we're thriving here. I think we are thriving here. He's gonna go for a Flare. He's gonna Flare, try to take me out that way. And... It does not take me out. So my boy Kingler's out and about. He's going to hit this thing with a big time Crab Hammer. But it's not going to do that much damage because the player's out. Maybe get a crit. Get it, Crab Hammer. Get it, Kingler. Big time damage there. Kingler shakes off the taunt. And that's pretty much GG's, right? But Zassi might be able to KO with the player off here. We'll see. So player off going to come out here. we go for Brick Break. I guess we'll go for Brick Break. Have some fun with this one. Probably does more damage than the Crab Hammer in the drought. But our opponent might just cancel, which he does. 1-0 to get the video started. King learns Zassian. Clutch it up for us. I just realized that our first battle was a sweep. We had all four of our Pokemon, and we won that battle. So that's a solid way to start off today's video. But we're hopping into our second battle, and this guy's rocking Kyogre and Groudon. So he has double weather, but he really only has Pokemon that thrive with the drought. He has Charizard, he has the Venusaur, and then he has Grimstar on top of Lele. And Kyogre is just kind of in the world of his own, but it still always poses a threat. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I think Whimscott's going to be great for just setting up Tailwind and kind of rolling out from there. So I think I'm just going to go Whimscott. Whimscott can set up the Tailwind. I kind of want Kingler here because we could do some crazy damage with water moves, especially if he sets the uh, 
sets the rain, but I feel like he sets the drought more so than that. So I might just go there. I might go Zassian here too. Zassian's a great lead. I really do like Zassian. So, you know, I'm going to end up leading Zassian. I do have to watch out for that Charizard. A little bit Calyrex in the back end. And then last but not least, Kingler, right? Kingler just sounds good. Or I could go Thunderous. Thunderous isn't too bad here. Thunderous is not too bad with that attack boost. I do like it. I do like him. I do like the Thunderous. I might actually lead to Thunderous instead. I think we're just going to bring Thunderous. Yeah, so actually Kingler's not going to come out here. Because I just feel like he's going to bring the Drought more so than the Rain. Like, like Kyogre might come in the back end. But that, that might be it. That might be it. And maybe I... Dude, I should have brought Kingler. He has Wide Guard too. I should have brought Kingler. He has Wide Guard. I should have brought him. That's huge up against Kyogre and Groudon. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. That could have been a great little start for us, but we're going to end up leading these two. Um, I'm really cool with this. I'm hoping the Venusaur kind of Dynamaxes, but I could just Tailwind this. And Behemoth Blade right in the Venusaur. And if he Dynamaxes, that's some huge value we get out of it. Maybe, just maybe, we can end up a Blade. But we'll see. If I get rid of Venusaur, that's just a solid turn for us. Because then I have Calyx to burn that, uh... I have Calyx to actually burn the... The Groudon, and we kind of move from there. And I wonder what he's going to do. I'm kind of hoping he just Dynamaxes. If he Dynamaxes, a Behemoth Blade should be able to just rip right into it, right? So, we're going to hope. We're going to hope. But the Venusaur and Groudon combo does come out here. It used to be so... Venusaur and Charizard used to be so strong in the sun when Groudon wasn't in here in the game. Now we have Pokemon to counter it up like Kyogre. But it was legit ridiculous. But I think this thing is going to be Focus Ash because he's not Dynamaxing. We're going for Blade. I think we're going to bring it down to Focus Ash. I think he's going to... Makes a lot of sense. Please don't be Sash. Just take it out. It is Sash. See? God dang it. So, night, night, Zassian. You're going to bed. And we're going to eject button out. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Let's go. Big time plays for us. And he's going to heat crash onto who? A little weird that he did that. But that takes me out. That's fine. That's a little weird, right? Oh, we got a crit. I was going to say, I thought we, we should be able to eat up a heat to crash. But that's kind of weird that he wanted to put Zassian to sleep and heat crash it. I mean, that's fine, though. That's fine. I'm just going to bring a Calyrex at this point. And I'm going to throw a burn on the Groudon. I'll throw a burn on the Groudon, get rid of the Venusaur, and go from there. Those are the plays. Those are the plays for Jeans. And then when Thunders comes out here, we'll probably Dynamax and roll from there. Easy plays. Light work. We're going to go here and then throw a nice little Will-O-Wisp over onto you. Got to burn this ground. Hopefully, we don't miss. I think we are going to miss because he misses Sleep Powder. The Poke guys are just going to even the playing field out here. But we're going to hope not. We're going to hope not. But yeah, even... I mean, even if he did try to put me to sleep, that him missing that did nothing. It did nothing because my move came out beforehand and he crashed me, taking me out. So his Sleep Powder really didn't do anything. He's going to end up Dynamaxing ground. So if we can land this burn, if Jeans can land this burn, we can be sitting super nice. We can be sitting super good. Land this burn, baby. Land this burn, Cali. Well, Lewis comes out here, and there it is, yo. Big time land. We know he's rocking the life orb. He doesn't have a lumbar, which is huge. And Moonblast can come out here and finish off that Venus orb. So, not a bad turn from us. So, we're kind of pestering his Dynamax Pokemon. He could go for a flare and F my Wimscott, which I wouldn't mind. But we'll just see what he wants to do. We'll see what he wants to go. He's going to go for a Quake here, probably into Calyx, right? Calyx can soak that up. Yep, and I might just helping hand and send it Ash. Chip up as much damage as I possibly can. Probably my best bet. And then bring out my physical attack of Thunders and Dynamax. Life Orb's going to chip him. Burn's also going to chip him. I do dig it. So we have a lot of speed on our side. We have a lot of speed on our spot side. I think whoever he brings out, he's going to protect. But we'll see. It's going to be Lele. It is going to be Lele. And this could be a choice Scarf Lele, but we still should be able to outspeed it with the, with the Tailwind out and out. I'm going to set the Surge, and I could pop an uh, Expanded Force instead now. I think it's going to get a Special Defense boost too. Wow. A little bit of Psychic Seize action. But I could taunt that. I'm thinking just Helping Hands are going to be going to play. Go here, but Astro Bosh is definitely going to play. We can get right after Slaylay. But I think he protects Slaylay. I really do. I really do think he protects Slaylay. See, that's one place. He does not. Yo, that's huge. So Slaylay is going to go down here, no problem whatsoever. And Ground's going to take a nice chunk of damage. Oh, we out? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Waste of an ally switch. Waste of a turn for Lele. Lele still goes down here. Astro Bosh double heavy move, and it's going to do some big damage on the Ogre. 
or not Uber, on the ground. So now we're sitting here, and this is his second turn, and he's gonna take out my Caldex. Dude, this is coming down to the wire here. This is really coming down to the wire. He's gonna max Quake again. He's gonna grant that special defense boost. And I mean, that's fine because we have a physical attacker in the back end with an assault vest. But this third and final Pokemon could really do me dirty because my Tailwind ends rather soon. So Light Four Burn's gonna chip up again, do a decent amount of damage, and then we're gonna have to bring out our final Pokemon. And I cannot guard him, which kind of sucks. I could fly and dip out this turn if I want to. But I feel like Dynamax is just going to be our play. Wait, who's the final Pokemon going to be? It's going to be the Kyogre. So Kyogre comes out here and... I think protecting. Might. It might. It might. It might. But I feel like I have to lightning it, right? I feel like I have to lightning it. I'm just going to help hand lightning that, that thing. Your best bet. It is definitely your best bet. Let's do it. Let's do it. I would have loved the guard this turn, but I don't have max guard. But this actually might work out in our favor if Kyogre protects. Because I would love to get Whimsicott for one more turn. Just so I can pop a Tailwind and have more speed. But I think I already outspeed them both, right? Unless that Kyogre is Choice Scarf. I think we're going to find out here. If it's Choice Scarf, it's not going to protect. I don't know. But we, we would still outspeed it even if it is Choice Scarf. Because Tailwind is out and about. But we save our Dynamax for the end. And I think it's going to work good in our favor. A boy Thunderous with the wrong ability is coming in big. He's coming in big, 308 HP. Should be able to soak up a decent amount of shots. And if Kyogre doesn't protect, it's dead. It doesn't protect. That is huge. See you later, Kyogre. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. And I'm surprised, you I keep thinking this guy's going to protect some Pokemon, and he just doesn't. So Kyogre gets absolutely dumped on. That should be GG. So we still have this burn onto this Groudon. Calyrex, thank you so much for that will o -Wisp. And yeah, we got this game on lock. We got this game on lock. That's GG's. That's GG's. And I'm surprised he hasn't taken a shot at my Wimscott all game. He goes for the Rockfall. I was kind of expecting that, too. Rockfall to come in hot. And Thunder should be able to serve pretty well. Beautiful. Thank God for that burn. The burn helps us out tremendously. The burn helps us out tremendously. Now Buffets are here. Ground's going to take some Life Orb and the burn damage. Yo, that must have did a good chunk of damage. Three burns and three Life Orb shots? That's close to 75 HP. That's a huge chunk of damage. A huge chunk of damage. Helen Peters out. We still have speed up against the guy. I just help in hand, airstream, and that's GG's, right? Right? There's no way this Groudon outspeeds me. I play it safe by going into, like, a uh, a Tailwind. Let me, let me see. Let me see Thunder's speed. I'd rather not throw this match. I would rather not throw this match at all. No, 171. Groudon is not outspeeding it. Unless it's Chewy Scarf, but I don't think it's Chewy Scarf. So, yeah, let me just help in hand the shot. Get that boost, and then go into a stab move of Airstream and go 2-0 for today's video. Awesome. Absolutely dominating with this team. Absolutely dominating. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So first battle, we got Kingler out here. Second battle, we brought the main meta team. And then third battle, I'm going to try to get Kingler out there again. But this time, G-Max, because his G-Max form is super cool. Final battle coming at you guys. And let's grab ourselves this perfect record with this G-Max Kingler team. We're going up against a Zacian and Eternatus team with G-Max Lapras, Storm Drain Gaston, and then he has the Indeedee and a Rangaroo. Who could pop a Trick Room? Who could definitely pop a Trick Room? I want my boy Kingler in here. Even though he's probably not the best in a few of these situations. But I want to bring him. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. So I'm going to rock out with him. I'm going to bring the Kingler. I'm going to end up leading him. And I'm going to lead Zassian on top of that. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig Zassian on top of that. All right, Zassian just does a lot of work. We'll bring Calyrex in the back end because Calyrex is the best. And then I could bring Indeedy here just for a little bit of follow me support. And expanding force isn't too bad. Do I want to bring Indeedy? Do I want Indeedy? I actually don't want Indeedy. I'd rather have Thunders. I'd rather have some more attack power. I'd rather roll out the battle that way. So we're locking in this squad. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. Hopefully grab ourselves a perfect record. Like I said, we got Kingler out here. And he might actually leave the Lapras. I have Zacian on its side, which is pretty good. But I just have to watch out for the... Uh, with Storm Drain Gash down. But what I'm thinking here is actually just the Dynamax King Lord regardless. And just start Max Knuckling and boosting our attack and have his ass and just get after it, you know? He's going with these two. He's going to go in with these two. Ah, okay. We just get rid of a Rangaroo, right? I think we just get straight after a Rangaroo. Well, to knock it off. Now, I'm definitely thinking of just Max Knuckling and doubling down into this Rangaroo right here. I'm with it. I said we get rid of Rangaroo. 
I wonder what Gashan's really gonna do here. Is Gashan Gashan could Dynamax? I think Gashan might just protect it. He might try to set up a trick room. He might try to do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna double down to this little orangutan with a leaf. But I love when uh, Ranguru does moves like waves a little leaf in the air. He's like, "Hey, I'm using trick room over here. Then I'm using follow me." And he like has to announce it to everybody. <laughs> Waves this little leaf sneer, but we're gonna Dynamax the Kingler. We are going to get G Max Kingler out on the field finally. Look at my boy, Santa Claus. Santa Claus over here with the big bubble beard and bubble stash. And his eyes look like he has salt water in them, bright red. What's he gonna do here? Behemoth Blade's gonna come through here. Again, Behemoth Blade should bring him down pretty low, and then Max Knuckle should be able to finish him off. I think. Can Max Knuckle finish that off? I do not know. I swear, y'all. If Max Knuckle doesn't finish it off, I'll be upset. Come on, Max Knuckle. Oh my god, it didn't! He's gonna get Trick Room off. It hurts, man. He's gonna yawn me. He's gonna yawn me. Okay. And it's Trick Room out and about. No, it goes for my. Okay. I like that. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna max knuckle finish you off, and then I'm going to try to get rid of this little gash down right here, right? Plus two on Zassian. I feel like we're just setting the Zassian up for a victory here, but he's gonna die to max. He's maxing. He's put my Kingler to sleep. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. He puts my Kingler to sleep, but he's gonna go into a Quake on it with Gash on, but a player off can do some crazy damage, and I'm surprised he didn't pop a Trick Room. Surprised he didn't pop a Trick Room. Let's see how this one plays here. He's gonna ally. Ooh. Ooh. Great ally switch. Great ally switch. We're gonna take out a Ranguru. That's a great that's a that's a great ally switch. It's a great ally switch right there. That's a beautiful ally switch. Great plays by our opponent there. Max Knuckles gonna fly, but if he quakes into my boy right here, he takes this out all day. If he quakes in my boy's ass, he takes this out. Can you please go after Kingler? Beautiful play. He's gonna quake. That's in his ass. And what a play. What a play. I'll give it to him all oh, day. That's a beautiful play. That's a beautiful play. So that was actually a insanely great play. He thought about that. He was like, I'm gonna Alex switch on fake him out. He's like, I have the yawn on the Kingler. Kingler's going to sleep. I should out pretty strong. Okay. We have no oh I forgot we have Lumberry. I forgot, Kingler. I love you. I love you, Kingler. The Kingler comes out with that Lumberry. I could go into you or I could go into Thunderous. I don't just want to go into Calyrex at this point. I forgot, yo. Kingler coming in clutch with the Lumberry. We love it. I always love when I forget about the Lumberry because then it just surprises me. And I get a lot of value out of it. He's going to go into Eternatus. Alongside with... This Gastrodon still on the field. Okay, uh... What do I do? A quake. Quake's gonna be my best bet. A special defense boost for a team, and then just probably Astro Barge, or I could expand the force onto the board. Get rid of him, or I could just Astro Barge, because I think the Quake and the Astro Barge should be able to do enough damage to take that thing out. I'm with it. Oh, but this thing's gonna Dynamax Cannon me. I should've. Mm. Hurts. He's gonna Dynamax Cannon me all day. No doubt in my mind. Dynamax Cannon comes straight to Kingler's mitt. Kingler's dead. Kingler's dead, 100%. Ashbrash flies through here, does a decent amount of damage. And this thing goes for Dynamax and into Calyrex? Is that into Calyrex? It looked like it was. It is, okay. I like it. I have Focus Ash. I'm sashing up here. I'm gonna be able to get off of Max Quake. And we are really hoping that this Gaston goes after my uh My Kingler. Because if that's the case, I get another turn with Calyrex. And this battle's coming out to the wire, but I'm so surprised he could just dump on my Kingler. Could just take it out my Kingler. He would have still been alive. It's a cool turn. I'm with it. What's he going for? Another Quake? He's going for another Quake. Is that in the Kingler or is he double down to my Cali slot? Doubles to my Cali, man. Leave my Calyrex alone. I just want to use a water move with my Kingler. I just want to crab hammer up. I just want to crab hammer up. But special defense boosts are flying. That's totally fine. We have physical attackers on the board. That's our only Pokemon we have left. I think it's going to take some life or damage. I'm bringing out Thunda. We have a Soul Vest on him. I could fly and dip out next turn, which I'm kind of leaning towards. It really depends who he goes into. Who is your final Pokemon kind, sir? 
the best Pokemon in the game. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it, I hate this game. Um, yeah, so flying dipping out, I don't know how much value we can get out of that. But my boy Kingler is sitting there with his little crab. Uh, high horsepower's gotta come out here. We gotta get after you. Do I just thunder punch into this thing? Double down into it? I think I do. I think we gotta double down into Zassian here. Zassian, of course, protects. And that's GG's. Great little protect at the end. I'm super surprised that he protected that Pokemon. The reason I say that is because it's fastest on the field. This is just a great protect. That's just a great protect. What's he gonna go for here? Another Quake and a Kingler. Kingler finally dies, and we don't even get a chance to use our water moves because this dang Gastron was out on the field. The whole game. The whole game. But what a great protect from him. It really was. So I was hoping he would go into, like, say, my Thunderous, and my Thunderous would be shot. Then we could double down into him, maybe pick up a KO, and then 1v1 this. But yeah, it's not looking good for us. It is not looking good, but maybe this is one of those Gastrons that only has a ground move. Maybe it is. So we're just going to Thunder Punch straight into this uh, Zacian, and we'll see how this battle plays out. But I think he just one-taps me, right? He just hits me with a player off and says GG. He goes for a Blade. Go eat up a Blade? Probably not. Probably not. So I'll take a 2-1 record. I'll take a winning record for today's video. Not very effective, but we do eat it up. Still, this brings me down to 28. Like, how, should, how is that allowed? Thunder Punch flies through here. Give me Paralyze. We don't get a Paralyze. Muddy Water comes through here. That's the game. That is the game, yo. 2 1 for today's video. Not a bad set of battles. Grab yourselves a winning record and pretty much got to showcase this team really, really well. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record in another Sword and Shield video. I love the King Lord. Love the G Max King Lord. I wish our opponent did not have Sword and Drink Gashon out on the field the whole time because I could have got some uh, G Max Foam Burst off and did some big damage with the team. But the Zassian, the Calyrex definitely showed up like they always do. We had the Whimscott, we had the Thunders, and the only Pokemon we didn't use was Ndidi, but. It's a fairly normal Ndidi. You guys know what it does. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.